Hey, I'm about to show you a, uh, an old clip that you've probably never seen, and you won't see it anywhere else. This clip is not available on YouTube, so it's something you should ask yourself, why isn't this clip available on YouTube, uh, an old video of Greg throwing shuriken? Um, well, when you see the clip, you'll understand why this isn't available for you to see. Greg likes to just sh go, just show you, you know, the uh, his highly edited uh, uh, videos. Um, but this is a, a video of him throwing shuriken, telling you how to do it because he's a master of it, is like he's a master of everything else. But watch the video very closely. Watch after he throws the shuriken. He misses the target. In other words, so the shuriken failed to stick in the target, two of them. Two of them are on the ground. He edited that part of the video out. He doesn't show you the first part where they miss. He only shows you the ones that were successful. But what's funny about the video is when they walk up to the target, watch Greg's foot. Greg walks up to the target, takes his foot, and places it completely over the shuriken that's on the ground, trying to hide it from the camera. That is what a humble, honorable sensei does. Uh, so watch, watch the clip. Watch his foot. Watch his, watch his head. You can watch as he as he's walking up to the target, you can see him look down, see the shuriken on the ground. As he walks up to it, he takes his foot, puts it completely over it. It's pretty funny. And it is classic Greg Park. The beginning of the video doesn't show those misses. He edits those out, and the video only starts uh, on the successful throws. And then he covers the shuriken with his foot. It's classic Greg Park, and this is exactly the kind of thing he does. Just like that. These are, uh... So did you catch that? If not, play it again. Watch his head zero in on it, and then watch his foot cover it. Good job, Greg. You're a very honorable sensei. Sensei is a Japanese word, by the way. So again, ask yourself, why isn't this video on YouTube? Because it exposes the reality behind this man. This is the way he does things. He's not a proper sensei. He's not humble. He's not honorable. He's shady, and he does this kind of crap. <clears throat> a, a proper sensei would not do that. A proper sensei wouldn't edit out the misses. And then, by all means, he wouldn't step over the shuriken trying to hide it from the viewers. <clears throat> That's just hilarious and ridiculous. And look at the target he's using. He's using a single layer of, like, thin cardboard. And it's, like, two feet off the ground. What kind of target is that? What kind of sensei uses that for training? First of all, a single layer of cardboard does not represent a proper target. And the cardboard, it's like two feet off the ground. And you look at his shuriken, a couple of them are barely off the ground. They're like inches from the ground. So that is an excellent uh, practice you're giving your students, I guess, if your target is asleep on the ground <clears throat> or something. I, I, I don't know what kind of proper training this is. Anyways, watch the video again. Check out his face. Zero in on it. Check out his feet. Cover it. And understand... That is your sensei. That is his skill. A paper-thin piece of cardboard a couple feet off the ground from 15 feet away. Uh, two of them didn't even make it to the target. They bounced off of his cardboard target. This is what his shuriken jitsu consists of. You need to snap out of it, people. Complete fraud.